coming from BITC Group 1. Hi, my name is Fakia Muhammad Husni and I'm from BITC Group 1. Hi, I'm Muhammad Ali Aiman bin Mahjafi from BITC Group 1. Hello guys and Assalamualaikum. So for this video, it is for our group project BITS1123. So we need to create a program to be run in QTSPIM which is allowed user to input 10 random numbers. After user entered the numbers, this program should be able to display A. Numbers that have been sorted from descending order B. Some of the entered numbers C. Average of the entered numbers D. Number with maximum value and E. Number with minimum value This video is demonstrate how to store input in an array First of all, you need to know the basic structure of maps assembly language You will have the dot data, dot text, main color and the function for the system call for program to end Just like C++ where you have the include library command and the main function for basic structure in the dot data section, we will declare all the string variable we use. As you can see, the array colon dot space 40 is the array declaration. The dot space command tell the compiler to allocate the space in the array. And the next number show how much space you will allocate in bytes. Here, one integer you store 4 bytes. So for now, we want to store 10 integers. Will be 4 times 10 equals to 40 bytes in the array. Compared to C++ programming language, the declaration would be int array square box 10. Next is the main function at start. All register will hold zero value. Add i is called the add immediate. And it is similar to the add instruction, except that the last argument is a number which is 40 instead of a register. This line add i dollar sign t0 dollar sign t0 40 this means dollar sign t0 equals to dollar sign t0 plus 40 40 will be stored in dollar sign t0 the following line having the same meaning as i said just now then we want to prompt the, u the user what they must do li is called the load immediate so the load immediate value for a system call code prompt and we send it to the register dollar sign a0 the system call will call the operating system to perform the operation same as previous but this time we load the next line variable which hold the value of backslash n that is escape character to go to the next line beq stands for branch on equal it will compare the first register with the second register that came after the command. If it is true, it will go to the address that is defined both registers. This line means if dollar sign $t1 is equal to dollar sign $t0, at the same time, dollar sign $t0 is currently holding the value of 40, then it will go to the continue address. Next part is to count how many input have been entered. As you know, dollar sign $a0 is the function argument register that holds the integer type variables. So this command will print the value hold by the dollar sign t9. And for this part is to print the colon to differentiate between the colon counter and the input that will be entered. So you can see the colons here. Next, this is like C in command in C++ programming. The li dollar sign v0 value 5 as the system call code to read the integer and store on the temporary buffer. The command syscall enables the operating to read the value and store it into register sign v0. Then, we need to move the value into another register to prevent the value loss. So, the value from here, we put it into sign t2. Next, sw is called the store word instruction mean we will store the value entered that the dollar sign t2 hold inside array at position dollar sign t1 where dollar sign t1 is currently 0. This was basically to update the array position. We will add 4 that means 4 bytes for the integer to go to the next position in array. Then we will have jump command that means the program will go to the address that come after the command 
In this case, if we go back to the input, the program will loop until it reaches the last position of the array where it will exit the loop and go to continue. Hello, my name is Fakiha. So I will explain to you guys for the next part. In this part, we will reinitialize the register. Thus, we can use it again. Why? It's because in MIPS programming, we have two little variables called register that we can use to hold a value or the variable. So we have to use the same register whenever we can. So this is for array x and this is for array x plus 1 and this is to check the condition. Proceed to the next part which is sorting. It is to check the condition for swapping array element since the question asks us to rearrange the number entered by user in descending order. So I will explain to you guys part by part. BEQ means branch on equal. So if $t3 equal to $t4, it will go to calculation. $t3 is a loop counter and $t4 already have been declared in data above as 19. This was the condition to check if we need to end the loop and go to the calculation. Next, if $t2 equal to $t0, it will go to the continue. $t2 hold the offset of array x plus 1 and $t4 also already have been declared in the data above as 14. This is to check either we have reached the end of array or not. Next, LW stand for load word. So, this will load a uh, number in array sign $t1 into sign $t5. Same for this line, it also will load the number in array sign $t2 into the sign $t6. The next line, add i means add immediate. So it will add immediate uh, sign $t3 plus 1 equal to sign $t3. It is also for increment by 1. SLT means set less than is sign $t5 less than dollar sign t6 if it is true it will store one in dollar sign t7 otherwise it will store zero beq mean branch on equal so at here uh it means that if dollar sign t7 equal to dollar sign s0 which already have been declared in data above s1 it will go to the rearrange so if it will false it will just continue for increment for the next part here. So we will see what will happen in the rearrange. So in rearrange, we will swap the array element. Since the question asks us to sort the numbers in descending order. SW means store word. So it will load the numbers in array dollar sign T2 into dollar sign T5. Same with here. It also will load the numbers in, those in array dollar sign T1 into t6 this is for example before in array t1 is negative 10 in array dollar sign t2 is 9 after this comment it will change the position this is for increment at immediate dollar sign t1 comma dollar sign t1 comma 4 and it will go back to the sorting after finish swap the array element so this command is for update the array or we call it as increment and j sorting it will go back to the sorting until it will finish the loop it will repeat until the value for loop is false which can be checked here proceed to the next part which is rearrange i have already explained just now so here in calculation we will reinitialize the register. This for array element. This is for temporary holder. This will uh, hold the first array element which is uh, 0. This will hold the last array element which is in array 36. This will hold the minimum value and this will hold the maximum value. Next is total. In here we will add all the numbers to get the sum. BEQ mean branch on equal. So if dollar sign T1 equal to dollar sign T2, it will go to the average. Dollar sign T1 is offset and dollar sign T2 is 40 and it already have been declared in the data above. Next is load word dollar sign T2 comma array dollar sign T1. Here it will uh, move number in array dollar sign T1 into dollar sign T2. This is to update the array. And at here, the process of addition will be occurred. 
So, it will add the numbers inside dollar sign S1 with dollar sign S2. And the answer will be stored in the dollar sign S1. So, here it will go back to the total. It means looping. It will add until the condition will be checked here. And it will go to average. So, in average, since we already have the summation value, so it will be easier. We can just divide the sum by 10. So, this means uh, divide dollar sign S1, which the answer of summation with dollar sign S5, which means 10. And it already has been declared in the data above. MFHI is 10 for move from HI. MFHI will store the remainder after the division inside the register after it. In this case, it will store the reminder inside dollar sign S2. Move from LO. MFLO is quite similar to MFHI but instead of storing reminder, it will store the question value of division inside the register after it. In this case, is dollar sign S3. Proceed to the next part. This coding is for CR or print out. So, it will load next line in the data above and it will go to the next line. Since the number already have been sorted in descending order, so it will be easier for us to detect the maximum and the minimum value. So here means it will load the number in array dollar sign T3, which or dollar sign T3 already have been initialized for zero array. So it will move the number inside array dollar sign T3 into register T5. Since we already have been sorted the number in descending order, so it will be easier for us to detect the maximum and minimum value. So LW mean load word, so it will load the numbers in array dollar sign T3, which the dollar sign T3 already have been declared here that hold the first array array element in which is uh, in array zero. So it will load the numbers or values in array zero into dollar sign T5. Proceed to the next part. It will load the numbers in array dollar sign T4, and dollar sign T4 already have been declared here, uh, which is in array 36. It will hold the last array element which is the minimum value. So it will load the numbers inside dollar sign T6. I'm Muhammad Alif Ayman bin Majafri. I will explain the element part. Okay. BEQ register T7, comma, register T0, comma, next is for while T7 less than T0. The second line load array register T7 to register T8. This line we tell that the T8 is equal to array T7. The third line, at immediate, T7 with 4. It means T7 equal to T7 plus 4. The next part is for Cout register T8. BEQ register T7, comma, register T0, comma, element uh, stands for if T0 not equal to 40. So... It will see out comma with space. As you can see in console, this part is see out by this coding. J element for jump pad. Okay, this coding is for see out the NDL and line. Now I will tell you about print sum. Print sum is for see out sum. As you can see in this console, sum with text spacing and double dot. This part will see out register as one. It will display the answer for sum. And then this coding is for C out the NDL. For print average. So this part is for C out average. Average with text spacing and double dot. And this part is C out register S3, which is this. This coding is C out by dot. So this part is C out register S9. As you can see this. And then this coding for C out the NDL. Now print minimum. For C out minimum. Minimum with text spacing and double dot. And then this part is C out for register T6 which is the answer for minimum value. And then this coding is for C out the NDL. Last but not least, print maximum. For the print maximum, this part is C out for maximum. Maximum with text spacing and double dot. And the last part is for C out register T5 as you can see in this console. So the last part is for return 0. Thanks for watching guys.